name is Rick and in this video I'll be showing you how you can install Gpack in your OS X system. Now this can possibly work with Windows and Linux but the instructions are going to be just a little bit different for each of those operating systems. Below this video I have linked to you to my blog post that we're looking at right here and in that blog post I talk about where you can download uh, Gpack and what is included with Gpack and what Gpack is along with the commands you need to run in order for you to be able to actually install Gpack. So as you can see here in this blog post, I'm going to go ahead and click on download Gpack. This will take me over to their website. And as you can see, it supports Windows 32, Windows 64, or OS 10, uh, 32 bits or 64 bits. So I'm going to go here with the latest build. And this is going to go ahead and download the DMG file onto my computer. All right, Gpack has went ahead and finished. I'm gonna go ahead and click open. I'm gonna click agree here. Then it's gonna go ahead and mount the DMG uh, file here onto my computer. And as you can see, we have a copying uh, readme and a readme file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this and drag it over to my applications folder. And this is gonna go ahead and uh, install the, the actual uh, Gpack application into my applications directory. It's really important that you, you drag over the OSMO4 onto your applications directory. Now, once you have done this, you want to drop into the terminal. And here I am on the terminal. And what we want to do is we want to do sudo cp applications. And we're looking for that OSMO4.app. And we want to go into contents and then Mac OS. And we want to do MP4 box. And we want to move this over into, well, we want to copy this into user slash local slash bin. And it's going to prompt me for my password. And we want to do one more sudo cp minus r, any libraries that are required by the application. And we're going to do osmo forward slash app and contents and mac os and lib. You want to say anything inside there, move that over to user local and lib right there and now that, that went ahead and copied any libraries that are included with uh with the gpack uh, framework in order for us to be able to actually reference that from the command line so now if you go in the command line and you type something like mp4 box capital b you should get something like this and we can go ahead and check the version of this doing a version on it and as you can see here we have version 5.2 dev uh, release that we went ahead and installed. So that's all there is to uh, setting up Gpack and MP4 box on OS 10. Now, if you have any questions, go ahead and post them below this video or go over to my blog and then see if anybody there is willing to help you. Again, I'll see you on the next one.